I hope you are having a fabulous week. I just wanted to include this email in this week's newsletter about strategic yeses and abundant noes. You know, in our life, we are given so many opportunities to say yes and to say no. And you know, it's the yes I can coach. I'm all about strategic yeses and abundant noes. So when you look at the opportunities that are presenting themselves in your life, your professional life, your personal life, what are you saying yes to? And what are you saying no to? Are they aligned with your core dreams, your values, your, your yes I can life, whatever that is, right? When you look at this email and the opportunities that are presented, the chapter in the Yes You Can book. Do you have a story to share? It is part of your marketing plan. Do you want to become a published author? Well, then it's a strategic yes, right? But if you're already an author and that's not part of your marketing plan, it's an easy no, right? Absolutely. When you look at other things in your life, like all these events that I've got coming up or other events going on in your area, what are you saying yes to and what are you saying no to and do they align? Now, here's the thing. If you're an entrepreneur and you want to grow your business or you've got personal things that you want to transform or change, you got to lean in and do the work. There is no other way around it. You've got to get more of those strategic yeses in place so that you can make those changes. Now, are you saying yes because of that? Or are you saying no, maybe because you're not willing to do the work, maybe because you can't see the outcome. If that's the case, I want to challenge you to relook at those goals and those dreams. Are they aligned with what you're wanting to do? And are you willing to say yes to those things that may be kind of hard, but they're the only things that are going to get you to where you want to go. All right. I hope you have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.